Hello, friends. Welcome back. And today we are going to understand with the second episode of about the Amazon integration with that of the Magento. In the previous video, we have tried to understand about the basic configurations how we can able to configure down the Amazon in order to use, and we have set the account for the Amazon. Therefore, in this video, we are going to understand about the profiling and we are just trying to upload the products therefore no more details and let's begin thus let us go to the amazon integration into this integration what we are going to do we are just trying to click on to the profiles thus we are going to create down the profiles now once we have got the manage profile in order to create a new profile, just click into the add new profile. Into this add new profile, let us try to create the new profile. Thus, in order to choose the new profile, let us profile provide down the profile name. I suppose I will be adding the profile based on the tag. Okay, now let's understand what's this profile is basically all about and what we are going to do into it so suppose you have any product that you want to sell into the amazon that product you might be thinking of selling it into a specific category think about you want to upload a product as bad so you will be uploading the product into a category into the amazon that of a bag thus we are just trying to use the same principle only so based on that category we are just trying to fetch the attributes of the amazon using the apis and we are using the product attributes thus we are just trying to get, get those attributes and we will be trying to work into it so let us see while how the things goes on so once we have provided with the profile name into the mapping here is something you can able to do if you are a manufacturer and you have the privilege that you can able to set it the barcode then into that case you do not have to enable it and if you are not a manufacturer then you have to leave however it is set over here once you have done so you have to select down the account since this is a multi account you can able to select down the accounts into the previous video we have tried to understand about how to create that account so we will be selecting down the account that we have already configured okay, the marketplace since we have all configured with the India marketplace so we have got that here. now into the categories let us suppose I want to upload a that kind of print so let me search so I import it so we can able to see something we have got that based on the search of the back category we are getting all the attributes related to the back and uh, and related to that we are getting the products and magento catalog attributes thus these are all the product attributes we have got also it's very important to note that we can able to also select the category as default category only if we just want to update down the syncing process of the inventory and price thus into that category we can able to select down as the default category otherwise in order to upload down any specific new products and we want to upload into those Category, then you have to provide down the category and that means that you have to select it so this is something we need to be mapping around on the barcode yes we have to be just selecting down the barcode barcode could be your SIM or the UPC so which is required so let's suppose I require memory so let us try to add the products product names department okay just try to fill these things thus this is something which we have tried to do right now what we have done we have just tried to map the attributes based on the requirement for the barcode we, i have just already provided to down those values so if it's possible let me show you this is something with the brand if i can able to show you down this is something i can able to something brand is there brand, and based on that we are trying to map the brand items yes i can able to show you uh barcode barcode for that we have provided s and upc yes this is a product uh, 
attribute and we are trying to similarly if you are not very sure that you have you are confident that for all the products the department remains the same then into that is what you can able to do you can able to chill down select down default value and you can able to provide the default value into that thing now this is something which you will be trying to use products default store so what if, if you have multiple stores then you can able to select down whatever the specific store products you want to upload the products auto assign you here you can able to uh, select down the specific category products which you want to upload suppose i want the default categories and i can able to see the products all the products that i can able to select down for the specific profile suppose i want to upload this product into the profile so this is something i will be trying to do i will be selecting into the checkbox and clicking into the save option so once the profile has been saved we can we, we will be getting something that the profile has been saved and we will be just clicking into the back button yes we can what we can able to see we can able to see that the profile has been created down into the profile grid i can able to see down that the profile name how many products are there yes as of now i have just only based down the only one product that's why i'm getting as the one product the parent category and subcategories this is actually a simple product if you have got the configurable products those then into that case the child products could be also be coming down all right so upload products this is something if you will be clicking into this upload product it will be just taking me down into the product section So this is something you will be getting down. So what is this? I can able to. This is something when you will be clicking into that button, it will be taking you down to the product section. So yes, this is you will be getting on clicking into the products. This is for the profile, the products which is there, which you want to upload, you will be getting in that. Now suppose I want to upload down the ad product into the Amazon. So what you are going to do, you will be selecting the product. If you have got a list of multiple products, you can able to select it in multiple places. Also, just try to understand this is something which is a manual process. If the prompts are already applied into this, if you have already already applied the prompts, then the products would be getting automatically updated, or you can able to the automatically update. Load would be there taken into the Amazon. So what we are trying to do, we will be trying to click into this upload product. It is asking one record, yes. Field upload or field, maybe you could do okay. And this is something which we can should understand that the account must be enabled and the profile must be into an enable state and product must be valid so let us look into it so just give me a moment let me try to again check it down let's go to the profile whether it has been enabled state yes So I have tried to fix that error. Thus, if you will be getting any kind of an error, you will be just clicking down into the profiles and you will be just clicking into this button. And if as it goes out perfectly fine, you will be getting no errors into this as I can able to see down the products. So let's try to check the same thing into the Amazon panel so thus I can able to clearly see this product right this is the product but we cannot able to see the pricing and the quantity stocks quantities as well so for that in order to have that prices and inventory related things so what we can able to do is again click into it and click into there you can able to see upload inventory price image so this is all the things you will be trying to do
so let us click into this upload inventory now we are trying to add the product into the amazon so let us click into the upload price so the product price has been so let me check the price over to the amazon seller central yes i can able to see down the price over here all right now the thing is i want to update down the image over here so let me click into the upload image also it's very important to know if you want to upload down the configurable products then you have to click into the relationship so you we have to check down the image has been let me drive, refresh it uh, okay so if you want to see some of the specific things that whether the image has been sent or what is the exact response so let me click into the feed so this is something feed we can able to view down Update Akash this bag image. Yes. The, the feed has been recent again. And let me try to get what response we are getting. This is something which the developer can able to look down and see yes the product image has been submitted like i can able to see down the image yes this is something i can able to see down now what we have to do at the last we want to update the inventory so this is something last we will be trying to do so let's try to check the inventory since we have not uploaded as of now the inventory the prices has been sent and all so upload inventory so let me try to refresh it let me try to check the inventory i cannot able to see let me try to verify from the feed section try to again reset the feed and try to refresh the response which we are getting might take some time to update down the price or the inventory it has been showing as submitted so into the panel i can able to see the yes the product is active also and the price and the inventory has been uploaded for properly thus with this we come to an end to the section where i have been showing you down the products how the uploadation has been done and how we can able to see the products into the amazon seller central i hope you have got how the things are working down perfectly for the products this thing you can able to try and let us know thank you and uh, into the next video i will be trying to cover down the order section where you can able to get down how you can able to import down the orders from the amazon into the magento and you can able to manage it all right